guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls under 149. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes. I think they're playing her thing, her um, her solo in the background. Mm -mm 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 Mm-hmm. So, good news, bad news, something. Dancing. Ah. Uh, right. I mean, but you're here, are you? Well, I mean, baby's a tomboy. She doesn't like wearing skirts. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I know. I mean, damn. So? At least not. But what's up? Makes sense for you two. You are a duo. Oh! <gasps> oh, my lips! <laughs> lips! Yeah, very soon. Well, I mean, Risa, you get to have your dream. You get to meet Shiki. I mean, because Nina got the chance. 
<laughs> Nina met both Shiki and Frederica. It's a good opportunity. Okay, Haru. <laughs> so now I think the only ones that haven't gotten an episode yet are Kaoru, Chie, and Koharu. Just those three. Oh, don't argue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course she's gonna be here. My baby. Now, I just need you to show Mika and, and Kaede. Bye bye. <gasps> oh, it's cute. What's wrong? Oh, it's a skirt. <laughs> it's a skirt. <laughs> really more, it's a dress. <laughs> Right? It suits you. Yeah, plus, it would be too soon and really too late. Because she doesn't like girly things. Exactly. You go through this 100% even with things you don't like. Right? You're going to be wearing skirts, you're going to be wearing heels and such. Let her cool off.
I get it. Because, once again, it's out of your comfort zone. Come on. Just follow him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the whole dance. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hm
please. I mean, I know you like wearing it, but you know, I. <laughs> For I mean, but I like the fact that he did that. He was trying to prove something to her, and that's really sweet. I wonder almost how much they have idols watch their calorie intake. Me too. Oh, and they're letting her wear shorts under it. It's so sweet. Of course it did. Oh, baby. Hey. Mm hmm And we get a new lip song too. <laughs> got it. I also love the fact that Shiki is starting. <laughs> She is. <laughs> I do also like the fact that they took one unvoiced girl, aka Mary, and decided to put her in the group. That's so sweet. And I know those fans are, like, extremely happy for her. Damn, that might be better than Tulip. Oh my god. That's not even the full song, though. <laughs> mm hmm That's okay.
that means get on her level, babe. <laughs> Is it bad that I now kind of want to see her and Haru in a group together? Serious? That was good. That was so good. I mean, it, it does, this whole episode kind of gives me feels too. It's the one event she's in, it, it's her, I think it's Mika, um, maybe also Rika. It's the, it's the, it's the summer song. It's the, the sports song. I don't remember the name of the song, but it, it's cute. I also love the fact that once again, going back to last week, that, the previous episode focused on Risa and then that we continued it with Haru because the fact is they are a duo. They've been in a duo unit together and it makes me also wonder with some of these units that are already established in the game, will we get second songs? Because officially as of today, they've also confirmed that this lip song that we just heard is now the next event. And Baby Precious Baby Mika is an event card, so I gotta get the event card, because, you know, as not only a Kaede P, but also a Mika P, because I love the shit out of Mika so much. Um, I'm trying to get all of Mika's cards, and I'm not really as close as I am with Kaede. I, like, with Kaede, we'll, we'll talk more about that in a minute. I, I have every single Kaede card. With Mika, I am missing a couple of SRs that I did have in the past. But I did not fully, um, what's the word, um, level them up, one. Two, I ended up giving them to someone else to level up. And then three, I didn't idolize them. So I didn't get to see the other one. So like, you know, the, the true colors, Mika, from that event, I don't have that card. Um, I used to have the Mika and Rika card from their event, uh, the twin, whatever. Don't have that card anymore. Um, and probably some other cards. And then for her SSRs, I'm only missing two. That, well, no, technically I'm missing one. Just one. And that is her first Synfest. That is the one card that I need before I am officially caught up with all of her SSRs until she officially gets her Noir. Because, you know, from out of my, my favorite non Kayede unit is Gossip Club. Um, so I have... Yui's Sinfest, but I don't have Yui's, uh, no, I have Yui's Noir, but I don't have Yui's Sinfest. For Rina, I have both of her SSRs, and then for Mika, of course, like I said, I'm missing one. Um, but really, this episode was super adorable. I love the fact that we went into the situation of Haru, who is a tomboy, and who is comfortable wearing shorts in ish and then seeing something girly as a dress or really more of esque a skirt freaks her out. And I thought that's really cute because I think for a lot of us, you know, when we were little kids for girls and such, we, I, okay, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, I used to love wearing the heck out of skirts when I was a kid growing up. Um, I think when I got a little bit older, when I was still like maybe in fifth or sixth grade, um, I kind of stopped wearing skirts mainly due to, I think, um, I did get comments and then, you know, the, uh, the situation or the, the beauty standards of society as well and such. And when you, once again, when you look at someone like me and stuff as a tall, a tall girl and such, even though I love the crap out of my legs, I still do. My legs, I feel like my legs are like my best asset of me. And, well, my legs and my smile, my personality and such. The one thing I hate is my stomach. Um, I when I was younger, hated the way my legs look. And because I have, I am very curvaceous and stuff, um, I didn't always like how skirts looked on me. So even now, I still tend to wear shorts and pants and stuff. And you will probably only see me in like a skirt or a dress when I really am like, okay, I'll go ahead and do it and such. 
Um, but now, like, the same thing. I haven't worn a skirt in, like, a really long time, especially, like, a jean skirt. But I do, anytime when I'm on, like, <laughs> when I'm, when I'm watching, um, I could say Yamada Kun or, um, when I was watching season one, when I reacted to season one of the, the series that will not be named, but I'm gonna name it anyway, Rent a Girlfriend, or um, when I was watching Galandino and such and seeing like so many different fashion outfits or even um, Smile Down the Runway and looking at fashion and because I am someone who does like fashion and such and then also being obsessed with like Garu and anything that is and such, it made my love for it even more and such. And so even today I'm like still trying to find like really cute skirts, but I still have that like, um, I would say the beauty standards and everything, even though the beauty standards has changed and stuff, but you still have that old fear knocking on wood behind you in the back of your mind saying, you just don't really look good in this skirt. Are you, your, your legs are too, you know, your thighs are too big or this is that. It's the, one of the many things of us as women, when we literally are changing and looking for an outfit for the day and we are literally checking ourselves out or when we're trying on clothes and checking ourselves out to see like, oh, does this look good on me? And then, you know, you have your confidence side where it's like, yes, I do look good. But then you also have your other side where it's like, no, you don't look good. And sometimes that, you know, the bad side kind of overshadows your, you know, your confidence and stuff. And then your confidence go down and then you're like, no one's going to really like me in this skirt. So I shouldn't wear it and such. But I think what I've also learned is you don't wear clothes for other people. You always wear it for yourself. And you always want to make yourself comfortable at the end of the day. And so in the end, yes, Haru got to wear the dress, but still she was comfortable at the same time because she was able to wear uh, shorts under it. But what I really thought they were also going to do was to possibly, you know, change it up and have her wear a skort and such. Um, comparing it to like... Uh, looking at um million live million live especially with the anniversary and i kind of technically center the girls has kind of started doing this um with the anniversary outfits especially when you're looking at this past year's anniversary with like the seven styles and everything um usually looking at the anniversary dresses and also once again comparing it to million live million live has ones where some girls are wearing shorts and some girls are wearing skirts and for the longest time when that had happened, I was like, well, why hasn't Cinderella Girls migrated into that as well when it comes to the anniversary dresses? Because when you get into ones where it's like, where you see the initial artwork. So like, okay, for an example, when, um, I think it, we're on anniversary seven. So this had to be anniversary five, I believe. Five or no. Six, okay, we know anniversary seven is the seven styles. Anniversary six was all space themed. So it, yeah, it's anniversary five. Okay, so the Let's Go Go song and how that was the the bathing suit era, the swimsuit era where it's like you could have this one piece outfit, but you can also turn it into, you know, with the top and the bottom and such. I, I love that. I thought that was the cutest thing. But um, at the same time, when you're looking at something else, and I was like, oh, okay, well, look at Million Lime. And Million Lime has this one outfit where one girl's wearing a skirt and the other one's wearing the shorts. Why don't we have that? To, you know, still evaluate and um, is the word essentialize or just like something to just, you know, make it look better. And I think that that's a really good idea. And so I kind of hope that going into when we get to anniversary eight this year, that the outfits are even better or greater than the outfits from anniversary seven because like I, I love the hell out of the anniversary seven outfits i think i use them way too much because you can customize it way too freaking much okay so let's also talk about the other elephant in the room so um of course this last past week was golden week and we got into it was the last day of sinfest now mind you last week um we were still on Sinfest. We did not know what the new cards were going to be. And typically in the past, normally when it is the last day of Sinfest, I normally either spin my last free pull of the last day of Sinfest, either on the Sinfest card or just try one more time, 
or I end up turning to the yearly gotcha and I just say, hey, you know, save for whatever. So I looked at my yearly gotcha. There was nothing. I looked at this and fast. I said, there's nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and save. But a couple of days prior, I was on YouTube and there's this one YouTuber who I follow who literally like does predictions for De Desute. I can never pronounce Desute correct. Um, so they were literally bringing out names and one of the names they put down for the next SSR was Kaere. And I literally went on my Snapchat and I was like, this girl is nuts. Like, it's not going to be Kaere, but I'll save my free poll just to see. And I even went on Twitter. So the exact same thing. And I was like, because th this is what happens every year when Kaere gets a new SSR. So like, okay, it's like this. So the previous SSR that I, I got was Kaere 6 and that was Valentine's Day. Just got that this year. That was released last year. And every year when I get the previous Kaede, 50 out of 50, the newest Kaede comes out. And then I have to, like, save up for that Kaede. So, um, it was, <laughs> it was the last day of Simpas. And so we knew the next day, of course, something was coming. So I, I kept in the, the Kaede thing in the back of my mind. And so I was like, okay, we'll find out at 2 o'clock. So I, I was watching a, um a long video just you know to make time go by quicker I fell asleep and I woke up like two minutes two two to five or six minutes after two so I said okay I, I need to go on I need to see who it is and such with before I get spoiled and stuff and lo and behold it was Kaede and I was just like I, I was freaking out and it, and it just reminded me of her noir fest when it happened the first time and I had a panic attack and I was like, I need to get this card. So, um, it, it took a long time. It really did. Like, I, I didn't think she was going to come home in the first pool. Because, like, other Kaede APs that I follow were getting her in, like, the first 10 pulls. Or at least 20 or 30. It took Kaede 173 pulls for her to come home. And then she came home again on a free pull. So, I was very lucky that she came home. So once again, I have all of my best girl cards and I don't have to worry about, you know, going into next year, trying my hardest to save for Isekai Kayere because I have Isekai Kayere and she's gorgeous and I'm so, and I'm happy. I'm just so freaking happy because it was, um, thank God it was the day that I was off and too, because I was like, oh my God. Um, she came home at like, Three o'clock, three four o'clock in the morning, and I almost screamed. But because it was the morning, I was like, I can't do that. I gotta go to bed. And so, if you follow me on Twitter, that day when this came out, literally, I was like, she's home. Good night. I'm going to bed. Da da da. -da. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. And then eventually, like I think a day or two later, she came home again. And like I said, it was the best freaking thing. Anytime when your best girls, um our best boys or whoever come home it's always the best day because you know it's like you know you're gonna have a good day and I think even the day the morning that I got that card I did have a good day at work and dealing with some people yeah I had some you know run of the mills people here and there but still overall I had a damn good day and such but like I said this episode was really good it didn't really give us a clue on who would be the next one so if I like I did last week um could do a preview like I said we only really have three girls left that's Koharu um Chie and then Kaoru so we just ended this episode with a cool girl um and in my opinion I think maybe um, Koharu should finally get hers, maybe, so then we could kind of get her, um, a, well, a sneak preview or something to possibly her solo song, but I feel like her solo song is not going to come until after the initial next three solos are coming out, and then she'll get it. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, they could do Chie, they could do another cool, but I think at the same time they might just end up going to Koharu, I mean, no, Kaoru, maybe? Um... But really, we won't know until, I think, what, tomorrow morning? Um, 
or sometime tomorrow afternoon so about like by the time I go to work maybe about like 11 o'clock or something but I will definitely check but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls under 149 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 7 bye guys